It's a very peaceful day. There's no wave on the ocean, no much wind. I posted on the YouTube about the birds singing. And I just finished my work in the garden, harvesting the vegetables and strawberries and so forth. I'm preparing for the summer and on. And then I thought I want to capture the moment. And the theme is melting into the nature. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I must be weird. Why I do this? Because I want to capture the moment when I have some insight and perhaps more relating to how I can appreciate my life. In the other video, I also mentioned about being comfortable as you are. And listening to the bird, the nature, some gardening work, calm ocean, quiet day, put me into more of this thinking. And what do I mean by melting into the nature? We are one with nature because that's where we came from. But we detach ourselves as if we are someone else. <laughs> and I mentioned that the bird doesn't think like that. They don't even think. And just be in the nature, finding their way. Picking up some worms and so forth. And such, I pick up some garden uh, vegetables and prepare for the summer seeding and tomatoes, more tomatoes and few other things. There's a dream into the future as I do more of this gardening work and connect to the nature and almost having a dialogue. It gives me the sense of being with nature, it's wonderful. And reflecting back, of course I was off from nature at work, traveling around the world, writing the report, making presentations, sharing ideas, promoting the idea I believe, like the idea of the mini company, self-management. But this idea of self-management led me into my own life's self-management, and that's the connection to the meditation and Zen and the simple life. Having gone through some hurdles for the you know, COVID and the related stuff, I do appreciate what I get. And where does that appreciation come from? I think the foundation is at the core of our being. As I mentioned, to be comfortable as we are. And Ultimate comfort is being with nature. <laughs> this may sound funny for many people, I'm fairly sure, because I don't think I thought like that for a long time. Yet I was always attracted to be with the nature and some appeal with it. And you have a restful moment and you can also breathe and envision what maybe the future. So as if you capture the energy out of the nature, you go back to work. So when I work, I studied Zen and practiced meditation for 35, 40 years. And the whole thing kind of fit together. It really took years and years and years of perhaps fairly persistent study and sort of like a triangulating all the input I got from various sources and then with that in information and contrasting to the way I live and finding the gap and closing the gap, synthesizing the information, <laughs> the comfort being with the nature just fit with me. 
Yesterday I was talking to a guy who was 44 years old in this little town and he had gone through some um, difficulty in life, even facing the death. And his point was, okay, work is important, but of course you want to pursue what you like, really like. And uh, I was happy to communicate with him. And there are many people around. Maybe it's because this place where I am is far away from the big cities and of course close to the nature. So outside I can see the ocean. And I was diving yesterday and the day before yesterday, the water is getting up, the uh, temperature is going up. And I've seen sharks out there, but uh, I'm still trying to <laughs> explore and have fun. So close to the nature is related to the activities, including the diving or fishing or surfing or hiking, or also related to the gardening, things of that nature. So what's the message about melting into the nature? Is that the sign of me getting old and getting ready to go into the coffin? Now, I think that that's probably one factor. And to prepare with comfort, accepting everything as it is. I mean, of course, we can complain if we want to, the red tapes and difficulties. But the life is there for us to process those moments in hurdles and go over. And through that, we gain wisdom. So I think it's, a, in my case at least, it's a continuous process of finding the insight or wisdom and keep on moving because everything is impermanent. Like right now I'm resting peacefully and appreciating a lot and even being able to have time to spend uh, doing this. But the future is unknown and uh, but at the same time, more and more I'm confirming at the core of my being that there's something that is uh, leading me to be persistent and to explore the world and be happy in the process and having fun. So this is just my testimony <laughs> for personal note and uh, who knows in the next day or year or down the road I may go into painful or some struggle but yeah that's right let's capture the moment that we can be listening to the bird watching the sun rising from the ocean appreciating the water and picking up some vegetable from the garden like a miracle from the dirt they grow and you know it just happens so whatever the situation is as I am or as you may be if there's anybody watching this let's keep up with the truthful and sincere posture in whatever we do and have fun while we may be able to contribute with each other to reinforce certain values that we think is very important. I guess that's the message, a simple message and that may be the always simple and basic message related to where we came from and what we may do. Thank you. Good luck. Have a good day. Good life. Good journey. See you some other time, hopefully. <laughs>